So guys, Murder Mystery 2 might have to delete mystery boxes from the game forever. And Nicholas might already be in the process of making that happen. So it seems that Roblox has been getting in some legal trouble lately and they're apparently being sued over allowing gambling on the platform for children. It seems that Roblox is always getting in these legal problems with gambling. It seems like this happens like at least every year, but yeah, many different Roblox games do allow some sort of gambling in their game, including Murder Mystery 2, since in this game there are a ton of boxes you're able to unbox to get some potential rare skins, but there is also a good chance you can get some pretty bad skins. And you're also able to use gems and mystery keys on, which cost Robux to get, which is textbook definition of gambling. Last year, Murder Mystery 2 had to be banned in a few countries because of the mystery boxes, like Belgium and the Netherlands. They might be unbanned now, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, if Roblox does lose this court case of allowing gambling on their platform, or maybe any court case in the future, since this happened a lot to Roblox, Roblox would have to force all of their games to remove any sort of gambling on their platform. So Murder Mystery 2 would have a big change there, and would basically be forced to at least do something with these mystery boxes to make it that you cannot spend real money, or maybe just not unbox them at all. But guys, like I said, Murder Mystery 2 might already be working on removing boxes forever, and the reason why I say that, that we can look at all of the recent Murder Mystery 2 events, including the Valentine's, Easter, and Summer events. We all know that these events were all pretty similar, and basically they all had a battle pass and event currency, but one of the main things missing about these events is that there is no mystery box in the event. Those are usually one of those hype parts of Murder Mystery 2 event that you can unbox rare items, but Nicholas has been refusing to add boxes in all of their recent events, and has also just been flat out removing the way to buy event currencies with Robux. So it makes me think that Nicholas could potentially not be adding any more boxes in any of their future events, including Halloween and Christmas. This is just a speculation, this is not 100% confirmed to be true. The same route he's been going with these smaller events and just removing the way to like buy candies and snow tokens with Robux, and maybe even removing any future Halloween and Christmas boxes into the game. Which honestly would be kind of sad if Nicholas were to remove mystery boxes from all their future events, but if the law tells him that's what he needs to do, he might have to do that. That might be the reason why Nicholas had never added Mystery Box 3 into the game, despite him saying that he wanted to add it in the future. Of course, these laws have not actually been put in place for Roblox yet, so Nicholas could keep these boxes into the game and could continuously add new boxes into the game without it breaking any of Roblox's terms here. But who really knows for the future of Roblox, and Roblox might just force in the rule to remove all sort of paid mystery boxes into the game. And it really makes me wonder on what Nicholas would actually do if he was forced to remove all the mystery boxes into the game. The thing is, how would you collect weapons in the game if there was no mystery boxes? Like, Nicholas might just have to do what Roblox Assassin did and just add, like, some sort of time shop into the game. Or maybe Nicholas could just flat out remove the option to buy mystery boxes with gems or mystery keys. Because I do not think it breaks any laws if you're using a non-paid currency to unbox boxes, like coins, for example. So if you were only able to unbox boxes with coins, I do think that would be completely fine. So I do think if this law ever came into place, Nicholas might just remove gems into the game, which I honestly wouldn't even complain that bad because gems are not really that useful to begin with. I made a whole video talking about how useless gems can be. But guys, please let me know in the comments. Do you guys think that Nicholas should continue to add boxes in any of their recent events? And do you guys want to see a Halloween and Christmas box? Or would you be completely fine to see Murder Mystery 2 events without these boxes? Because I think it would suck to see these boxes be removed from the game, but we're just gonna have to see what Nicholas does, I guess. But yeah, guys, that's how I did this video, so I'm gonna end it off here. So until next time, goodbye!